A middle school STEM academy is changing the way Mansfield sixth graders are learning. As meteorologist Jeff Jamison shows us, these students aren't doing much sitting around. You wouldn't know it by rooms called Focus Pod or Launch Pad or the beanbag chairs scattered about, but this is a middle school. It's actually the brand new Mansfield ISD Jerry Knight STEM Academy, and there's nothing traditional about it. At traditional school, you have boring chairs, and here you have an opportunity to like get different kinds of chairs, like bead bags and the oodles, and so it makes it more fun to learn. Kids here, like Isabella Van Dyke, are not labeled students; they're called learners, and there's a purpose behind that name. We wanted a title that would really show that they are responsible for the ultimate outcome of developing their solutions. The learner is just so much more active, and as you can see from going through the hallways and everything, they really take ownership in their learning. The learning is all project based and collaborative. It kind of feels fun to do it because you can work on stuff that you don't really get to in normal classrooms. And just, it's really just a place where I just feel welcome. There are no teachers here, but designers. As opposed to just being a lecturer of information, we're more facilitators of knowledge. Gregory Conley knows this is a special place. I feel like a kid in a candy factory. <laughs> I mean, just the knowledge that these students have and seeing their desire to learn more and be facilitators of their own learning. Has just been, it's been a pleasure for me. You'll notice here too that there are not more boys than girls. We had close to 50% male, 50% female applications, which is wonderful because we know that females are underrepresented in STEM fields. So some girl power. Here. Exactly. <laughs> Hands on learning in this cutting edge way is creating a new generation of engineers. We will always have problems in the world that ha that will need to be solved, and so we want to raise a group here that are prepared to solve those problems. Jeff Jamison, CBS 11 News.